DVD promo, take one. I don't know if you've seen one of these Jesus bobbleheads, but Jesus is becoming pretty popular out there in our culture and world, kind of as an icon today. I think of Jesus, I definitely, I mean, I believe in Jesus, and I think he was a very inspirational, his teachings were very inspirational. I'm all about Jesus. <laughs> I love Jesus, um, and I think that his teachings and his beliefs were pure. The problem is, they like Jesus, but they don't like the church. Bible thumper. That's the first thing I think of. Pseudo-Christian people trying to tell you what they believe in and what you should believe in. Um, when I think of Christians, I think of um, dogmatic, closed-minded individuals. Well, I think of this thing that Gandhi said, I would have become a Christian except I never met one. I mean, I haven't met very many true Christians in my life. For the most part, I think of people who should just be taken out back and shot because they don't apply the, the love is everything message of Jesus. The opening video that you just watched was filmed at a local university campus here and that whole experience was something that drastically changed my life, the ministry that I was in, how I viewed people outside of the church, and most importantly, how I viewed myself and my life as a follower of Jesus and how I spent time and what I did throughout the week. What I realized was that through time, many of us have unintentionally kind of retreated into this isolated Christian bubble, kind of like this thing. It's nice and cozy inside that home, it's all warm, we're protected from the outside in a bubble like this. But the hard part, and when you think about this, is that outside of the bubble, here's all of those university students. They're saying all of these open, wonderful things about Jesus, but all of their impressions of the church and Christians are from the aggressive street evangelists, from the way Christians are portrayed in media. Some have hard encounters with Christians trying to witness to them on the street and that's primarily the way they define Christians in the church. You're going to meet some friends of mine. These are friends that I met after I got out of the isolation of the Christian bubble and went out into the world and the culture. You're going to hear their perspectives about Jesus, but also their perspectives and impressions of Christians and the church that are really, really interesting. Christians so often end up being known to focus on the negative things rather than the positive about what it means to be following Jesus. I feel uh, that the, the church today is pushing people away from it who look differently, whether it's style, whether it's tattoos or body art, whether it's whatever their belief is. Jesus broke bread with prostitutes. Jesus broke bread with uh, thieves. Jesus broke bread with murderers. Jesus did not discriminate. What gives us the right to? What I am simply trying to ask is how does your church truly value women? I do not consider myself a feminist, a, a liberal feminist, someone who's angry about the state of women. I don't want to go to church because I don't feel I have a place there. I feel it's a male-dominated world and I feel more comfortable in real life where I can go to work and feel like an equal with the men that I work on a team with. There are famous actors who are openly gay, there's famous musicians who are openly gay, there's famous athletes now who are coming out of the closet and saying they're gay. We have to understand that in our culture today there is more and more openness about homosexuality. Being gay is such a small part of my existence that to me being judged by such a small part is crazy. If I wanted to go and, and be a part of a congregation, if I wanted to go to a church, I truly feel that I wouldn't be welcomed so I choose not to go to a church. The fact that I am gay would make me feel 
not open to tell to discuss that, I would have to be living a semi closeted existence. You might not yet see a rising diversity of faiths like we do in Santa Cruz, but it's starting to happen everywhere. You guys do recognize other religions and stuff like that, but it's like on this kind of like, oh, well, you know, the Buddhists. It's kind of like, you know, oh, they'll, they'll figure it out eventually, you know? We're these little underdeveloped children whose minds haven't really fully grown yet, and we need some help along in the right direction, and you guys are just the group that's going to help us out. That's the vibe that goes and turns most people that I know away. Increasingly, what's going on in our culture is that Christians are seen as fundamentalists who take all of the Bible literally and don't think about it and can't discuss it intelligently with people. I wasn't presented with the whole story. I was presented with, here's the Bible, God, um, God inspired the writing and, um, and the collection of, of it being put together, and, and it's exactly true word for word, literally. If you go into any bookstore, um, right over there at the bestseller rack, there's tons of, of books that you can read about you know, the origins of the Bible or contradictions or you know, other books of the Bible that didn't get included. As you work through these sessions, you will learn that there is real opportunity and hope to change these perceptions about the church.